Hi there, and thanks for watching. In this video, we'll cover three basic steps to creating and transmitting a positive pay file. Step 1. Run a check register from your accounting package or software and save it as an Excel or CSV file. Second, import the file into Bank Positive Pay, and third, create a positive pay file and send it to your bank. Let's start with Step 1. Run a check register and export it. In this example, I've run a list of my checks from my accounting package and saved it to Excel. Your check register should have at least these four columns, date, check number, payee, and amount. Now, select Import Check Register. Browse for your file using Select File. You can also copy and paste using the Paste button. Our mapping screen is next. I've imported data before, so my mapping selections have been saved. If I want to map additional fields, I highlight the column and select the field. Remember, columns not mapped are shown in red and are not imported. The order of the columns in the file does not matter. Next takes us to the Review Records screen. Here you can review control totals and record counts. Use the plus sign to show details. Notice there is one invalid row. Invalid rows can be blank rows, column headers, or report headers. The point is, you can use your existing report as is. You don't need to clean up your data or delete these rows before importing. I select Next, and finish and complete the import. Now we're ready for Step 3, creating and transmitting your positive pay file. Go to the Create File page. At the top of the screen, we can review the number of records and the date range of the checks included in the transmission. Next is the method of transmission. The most common method is a web upload. Your bank determines which transmission method to use. Talk with your bank representative about your options. Also displayed is the location of the file. If you need to change the location, simply use the link in the right column to choose another location. To create the file, Select Create Issue File. A prompt asks if you want to view the file. Let's take a look at the file. Keep in mind the sample file format you see here may look different from your bank's format. Bank Positive Pay, like all Treasury software programs, creates an audit trail for each record. To see a sample, go to Reports. We'll view the import logs. Notice the file we just imported is at the top. To view the records, select Record Detail. Our software also features Excel-style filtering, which lets you easily select records and export the report to Excel. If you've made a mistake and need to re-import and recreate the file, don't worry. Go to the Home tab and select Delete Import. Highlight the import and then click the Delete icon. You can now re-import your file. Ready to get started? Before importing your first file, you'll want to set up your own account. You don't want to use our sample account. It resets to our tutorial. Create your first account by selecting File, New Account. Enter the name of the account and complete the wizard. To start importing, you'll want to have a copy of your current check runs. You may also want to import your most recent outstanding checklist, as this will help minimize any exceptions. Positive pay files must be formatted according to each bank's specifications. Each bank has their own format, and many large banks have multiple formats. We've made it easy and created a library of formats for you to use. To get your bank's code, please contact our support department. When you have your code, go to the Settings tab and enter the code. All new accounts will have this code and be set up according to your bank's requirements unless you change it. To learn more about Treasury software and other Treasury management products, please visit our website at www.treasurysoftware.com.